This is a J Mix exclusive. Mm -hmm. I would have got treated even half as right as I did in the end if everything didn't blow up from death row. I don't believe that it was that it was uh, Shills and Nimmer's intention to really pay us right. I don't. I still don't believe that. I believe by everything messing up the way it did and um, Shug going to prison and all these things like that, I think everybody else had to handle what the business that they had to handle and everybody else went and got lawyers. So things end up getting handled the right way. It brought lawyers in and things like that. But I think uh, Tyrone and I would have got cars, or a chain, or some dollars here, or whatever like that, but nothing like our publishing really coming right or anything. I don't, I really don't believe that we were singled out. What's huh? The, what's the thousand dollars? Yeah. We're talking about royalties, you know, 10 That's what I'm saying. But what's 10 or $30,000 if you talk, my first check from death, my first check from Machiavelli was 269000 That was my first check from Machiavelli. So, um, I know, I don't believe I would have saw anything close to that. Maybe a $50,000 check, a $30,000 check, a chain, a car, you know, a, 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 a paid for my apartment and stuff like that, you know, something like that, a paid for a place, you know, but I don't think we would have got, man, here's all of what you pay, because we still didn't get, you know, everything. And I didn't get a lot of things. I found out about some guy in Baltimore receiving checks in my name. <coughs> I found that out through, um, <coughs> excuse me, through uh, ASCAP. Another, another Daryl Harper? Oh, man, a girl, there was a girl that had worked there, mainly Shari Henry. Um, really pretty thin girl and she uh, she took a liking to me and we met she said she saw some postings about me receiving money somewhere whatever I said no that <coughs> that can't be me so uh, she said I'm sure it's you though it's your work it's the it's the songs that you're you know that you have here we called in her office and this guy answered the phone and she put him on the intercom. She said, oh, are you the Daryl Harper that did such and such and such and such and such? He said, oh yeah, 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 like that. But she said, she said, that's kind of strange. I'm sitting here in California and he's sitting on the other side of my desk right now and we want to know who you are. And the dude paused for a long time. And then he says, uh, hey man, I told y'all from the beginning, this, I wasn't the same Daryl Harper. Y'all steady sending them checks here and he's going off and all that. I said, oh, wow, man. So I was wondering how many times, oh, I don't know how much he got me for, he was getting them for a while. So, and so I was, I, I, I was wondering how many Daryl Harpers were somewhere, you know, because I felt like someone in company. That's just incompetent. I mean, that's just, either it's crooked or incompetent. And I can't figure out which. That was my thing about death row. I couldn't figure out if it was just, Stupid or crooked? I thought it was crooked. I think. Yeah, I think so too. Cause I don't. Even if a guy had my name, how would he know I wasn't getting my checks? How would he know to go the, the particulars about my songs and the whatever? Somebody, I believe somebody in that office was or something. You know, not to just. You think anybody from Sugar, anybody down, knew how to get checks and maybe split them with them or what? I don't know what what. But the 